Welcome once again to our week three of our Think About It devotionals. Uh, this week's tip comes from something we have already talked about in the past, in the last couple of weeks, and it's something I'm very guilty of myself, and that is putting it off or putting off devotionals. Last week, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I allowed myself to get busy, and my personal devotional and Bible reading time got pushed to the side. Um, and this was entirely my fault. I, I just I just got busy, and, and I said I'd, I would do it a little bit later. I'd do it a little bit later, and a little bit later ended up uh, never happening. And that's what happens when we put off our devotion times. Then Monday, I got up around 6 a.m., uh, fixed my bowl of cereal, as I always do in the mornings. I was planning on having about two hours and reading and some devotion time in the Bible before I got started work. I, uh, I finished getting ready for the day. I sat down in my office about 6.30 that morning, and, and guess what happened? I, uh, I remembered that I needed to update the web, uh, web page for the uh, youth and the Facebook page for the youth. And uh, then I had some emails to send that were unwork-related emails. And before I knew it, it was 8.30, and I had to get started with uh, my actual daily job I had to do. And, and, and I let the time get away from me, and, and I didn't get to do my devotional. And, and in this, I, I allowed church stuff to distract me from reading God's Word. And it's that simple. Anything can get us distracted from our personal time with God, reading our Bible, our devotion times. And, and we shouldn't put anything in front of God's time. And, and just because I was doing some stuff for church doesn't mean that was God's time. That was God's time was my devotion time, my studying time, my reading my Bible. And, and all that stuff that I was doing could have waited. And, and on top of that, Everything that I did on the on those pages, I forgot to save it, and I ended up having to redo it anyway the next day. So it wasn't important, and and I I allowed myself to put off my personal devotional time, and um, and I guess you know it was kind of funny because after after uh, later that day after I realized what I'd done, I, I then I realized that I forgot to save the work I'd done, so I had to redo it anyway. So it was a total waste of time. And, and that's that's kind of what I get for putting off my personal devotion time. So later that day, uh, later Monday, I had a doctor's appointment after work that day, and I decided on the way home I was going to keep myself from being distracted again. So so when I got home, I just immediately just, just grabbed my Bible, sat down, uh, not in front of the TV, not in the living room, and uh, got straight to my reading my Bible and uh, doing my devotion time. So... So that's kind of my little tip, a little what happened to me this week. So we'll start off with our song of the week. And the, the song of this week is going to be uh, one that uh, some young ladies in our church sing. And uh, uh, our preacher's kid is, uh, Let Me Tell You About My Jesus.
So, all right, I love that song. That's probably one of my favorite songs that they sing. Uh, so we'll get started right into our devotion, and we're going to start with a prayer time. And, and like, we, like I said, we always start devotions, reading our Bible. We're going to start with prayer. So, Lord God in heaven, Lord, we thank you once again for the beautiful, wonderful day you've given us, Lord. We thank you for... Uh, we thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you how, how it can work through us, Lord. I pray that you would take this devotion, Lord, that you showed me this week, Lord. I pray that it would touch somebody that's listening to it, Lord. I pray that you would bless them, Lord, and give them encouragement, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, so I took today's, uh, today's devotion out of Proverbs 4.26. It says, Ponder the paths of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. We have been talking about the phrase, think about it. And we see in this verse starting out with the word ponder. I looked up the definition and it said to think about something carefully, especially before making a decision. If we take this verse as it is written, we start, to, we start out walking through a yard, up the road, and if we don't pay any attention to what is in front of us, we could step in a hole or step in a snake in the front yard. Uh, as we get out in the road, we could walk out in front of a car. If we're, not, if we're not thinking about where we're walking, if we're not thinking about where we're going, there's a lot of obstacles between our front door and our mailbox that we could walk in front of, step in, step on, things that could hurt us. Um, another thing is here where I live, we have to pay attention for dogs, and, for, for, uh, for dogs in our neighbor's yards. Uh, if they're if they're out of their fence and I'm walking up the road, well, they're going to try to jump me and attack me. I have to pay I have to pay attention when I'm walking around my neighbor's yard, you know, up the road, of um, things around me, and that's kind of kind of what this verse is, kind of what this verse made me think about, is we need to think about what's around us when we're walking. Uh, if we think about if if we read through the book of Proverbs, we'll find the word my son. Uh, uh, Solomon says, my son. Uh, it's it's written there over 50 times, and, and I believe uh, I believe Proverbs is not only helpful out helpful for our youth, but it's also provided me myself with a lot of guidance, and I think it can help us as as adults also. But it, it's it can help youth tremendously. If we look in Proverbs, we can see God's word directing a, directing to a path of righteousness righteousness. Uh, he's asking us to ponder or think about the things we're doing or getting ready to do. All right, if we look at Proverbs 5, 6, it says, Least thou should ponder the path of life. Her ways are movable. Thou canst not know them. Solomon, Solomon says here, her ways are movable. He used the word her to represent your life or our life. And, and that words... That, and that word movable basically means small changes and decisions you make today will greatly affect the rest of your life. This doesn't matter how old you are. You should be praying about everything, about anything and everything in your life. Asking God's, God, asking God to direct you and guide your footsteps. The last part of verse 6 says, Thou canst, thou canst not know them. We do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. Only God does. And, and we need to be in prayer that God would guide our steps today to protect us tomorrow. And, and, um, and then I wrote down this in Psalms 143, verse 8. It said, Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. We, call, we can call upon the name of the Lord, for he will guide us. Just like in Psalms 119.105, thy word is, is a lamp unto my feet and a, and a light unto my path. So isn't it wonderful to have God's words at our fingertips? Because in Proverbs, 5, in Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6, he says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all his ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our paths. So that's what I that's kind of my thought I wanted to put together for this week. I hope you get something out of it. I hope this blesses you and, and I hope you can use this through the week to 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 pray to God and get and that God would give you some direction in your life and, and help you and protect your walk as you as you move forward through life. 